Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Rob Willis.info here, and in this video I want to talk about how I how exactly I access my servers remotely through a Java console, which a few of you noticed I've done in my recent videos. So to start off here, you'll see my stack of servers, and I've got a few with Dell CS24 SEs, along with this Dell 2950 Generation 2 on the bottom here, and the Dell C2100 on the very, very bottom. And these are the main servers I'm going to be talking about in this video here, is these two. Um, but each one of the servers is going to have dedicated hardware in it along with a network port that will be wired into the network that gives us this capability. Um, you can't really get this in any other kind of setups. There are some uh, super micro motherboards out there that I think have uh, like a, uh, um, a BMC setup on them that you can get. But for the most part you're really only going to see this on server grade hardware. Alright so coming around to the back side of the servers here we can see how this is all wired up. Now you'll notice that I have these black um, CAT6 cables on the right here and those are going to be all my BMC and Drac traffic and you'll typically want to VLAN this traffic off from your regular traffic and uh, tighten things up a little bit. But each one of the servers is going to have a dedicated RJ45 port that goes into its BMC or Drac and um, you'll see each one of those is wired up here directly. And each one of these cards will also get its own IP address on the network as well and we'll use that to uh, connect to the Drac through its uh, HTTP management. So each one of these servers is going to have dedicated hardware that gives us this capability. And uh, sometimes it's built directly into the motherboard, sometimes they'll have a slot and it's an optional card that you can add in like it's on the 2950 Gen 2. Um, but for the most part they're all going to have one port that's a 10100 that'll be used for the DRAC or BMC. And then you'll have your standard two uh, gigabit ports that are used for your normal network connectivity and traffic. If it's just a, a cheap generic controller, it'll often be referred to as a BMC or baseboard management controller. But Dell does call their higher end ones Drax or Dell Remote Access Controllers. And uh, HP calls theirs ILOs, but they all basically provide the same functionality. Um, they run some sort of uh, HTTP server that gives you access to uh, a remote Java console, power management settings. Um, some, of them, some of them will even let you mount an ISO remotely so you can load an operating system and other features like that. Alright, so now over on my workstation we're going to browse to the IP addresses of the uh, the first one's going to be a DRAC on the 2950 and the second one's going to be a BMC on a C2100. Um, but let's go ahead and start with the, 20, the 2950 first. So it's pretty typical when you go to access these that you'll get a certificate warning from the certificate being self-signed or something like that. Um, but just go ahead and click advance and add the exception and it should load the portal up successfully where we can go ahead and log in. Now if you don't know the credentials, you can often uh, reset the credentials through the uh, configuration that you'll see in the boot sequence, or for a BMC you often do this in the uh, BIOS. Um, but you'll see that it loads us into the uh, portal successfully and it gives us all kind of information about the server itself. You can also see like health of the hardware and stuff. And then uh, we notice the uh, power management settings on the top here. And these are the settings here that allow you to turn the server on or off, even if it's off. As long as the server's plugged in and has power, you can turn it on. And over on the console tab here, this is what's going to give us that Java KVM that you see me using in videos. Um, but it's going to give us full-on keyboard, video, and mouse access directly as if we were like sitting in front of the server and physically hooked up to it. And now uh, you just click connect and then open up with the uh, Java Web Start Launcher here and click continue through the uh, various security warnings. Now these can be very picky about what version of Java you're using to open them with. It's just worth noting that it can be a complete pain in the butt. Um, but you will sometimes have to use older versions of Java. Um, but you see here that it successfully loads the console and we see no signal because it's not turned on. So let's go ahead and turn the server on now. And uh, we should see it boot up just like we were sitting in front of the server here. So we can see everything from start to finish as soon as we power the server on. Alright, so we see the server is uh, actually booting up right now. Uh, so if you have a, a BMC, this is typically where you'll want to hit F2 to enter the setup and uh, that you'll configure it through the BIOS and it'll have like a remote administration portion in there but you can go ahead and set the IP address uh, as well as setting the uh, username and password or well, typically just the password. Um, but that's it. Um, so this one has a Dell DRAC tied to it and uh, it actually comes up during the, uh, the boot process. So I'm actually going to skip ahead a little bit because um, it takes a second to get there after the RAID controller boots. Um, but I'm going to skip ahead to that and then I'll show you how we configure the, uh, the remote access controller on the, uh, the Dell 2950. Alright, so here we go. We see that it says press control E to access the remote access setup and it also shows us the current IP address that's used for it right now. 
Um, but here we go. This is the uh, configuration settings, and you can go ahead and set the static IP for the uh, the drag itself, and that's the one you use on the uh, web browser to connect to, as well as there's the various settings for uh, mounting remote media. You can change the user or set reset the password, and all that kind of stuff. But basically, everything you would need to configure the drag will be found within here. So uh, just by hitting that Control E when it boots gets us directly into the settings and now once we've set that up we can then hit the hit it via the web browser and uh, pull up our console and all of that fun stuff so the server's not going to do anything because I don't have anything installed on it right now so it's just gonna sit there um, but let's go ahead and check out that media option so you'll see if uh, when we click on the media tab on the top here we have options for virtual media virtual flash and uh, various configuration settings um, but it's it's definitely something cool to see that you can actually do this and, re and remotely mount uh, media to install like your operating systems and whatnot. So uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, 2100 and this one's going to actually be a BMC versus the other one was a DRAC controller. Um, but you'll see that they look very similar. They have a lot of, uh, it, it's a very familiar console and there's a lot of similar features. Um, but it gives us the various information page and then we have our console button up here. And we can go ahead and launch our KVM, and it launches exactly the same b way. And we'll end up with the uh, same security warnings and all that stuff. But um, it popped up on my other screen here. But we see, and this is a ESXi server, but um, it actually shows us exactly what you would see on the screen as if we were sitting in front of it. And we got a remote uh, control too with a uh, mouse and keyboard and all that stuff. So I think that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. Um, I hope this gives you a basic idea of the uh, kind of hardware you would need and the basic setup and configuration of how it's all wired and put together to, uh, to kind of get involved with something like this. I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, did like it and you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And uh, thanks again for watching.